Greetings, family. This is Bomani Time. I'm here with my wonderful sister and brothers. They're going to introduce themselves to you. But the big topic we're talking about is money ain't money. Is money real or is it not? Woo! <laughs> Let's and my, it brother, up. my brother Prince is going to set it off. You're Mr. Prince. Oh, man. You ain't going to put me on the spot. <laughs> Just like that, eh? <laughs> You recording yet? Yes, family, we're live and we're recording. So speak your truth. No, well, Go into uh, what we were we, talking we, we about earlier. Quick, we're just picking, uh, you know, uh, conscious, or uh, uh, we want to say, uh, just an observation of what currency, uh, money, real wealth is about. Uh, and just, you know, thinking to myself, you know, that uh, fully understanding what is going on in terms of the system uh, and who created that system and why that system was created. Uh, to my understanding or my little, my little understanding is that the system was created to make people uh, physically slaves. Whether you want to believe it or not, we are all slaves in a cab to work for who's to ever set up that system. I won't say the elite or what have you, but you know, the people that set up the system, they know themselves. Uh, and uh, you know, you're know, provoking thought that, uh, you know, analyzing certain aspects of life and what people are going through on their daily journey, uh, you know, with materialism and, uh, you know, the understanding what, what is real wealth what is really important in terms of uh, human being connection to other human beings and uh, what must really place emphasis on other created universal person and uh, and so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go to different different topics but what I really want to get down is too is that to let people understand that all we have is us as people, as human beings. And there is an entity that creates the system that is, to my understanding and my observation, if it was a human being created that system, the system wouldn't be a system to enslave the human population and to misguide the human population where the real wealth lies is in us mm -hmm. as, as, as God that I won't say God I'm not gonna say God because God I don't know God would turn the name into a dog you understand me so the universal creator that created the universe and all that he give freely he or she what I, I, I like to say the mother mother earth our mother universe that give everything just like a woman a black woman will bring any uh, nation children on the planet mm -hmm. so you know I think that uh, in terms of the human aspect of living in this life everything the, the creator give free and someone out of there I'm gonna say wicked intention to enslave the population, to misguide them about paper money, wealth, land, and stuff like that. So we are working in a system that is enslaving us, hating on each other, misguiding about true wealth, what is wealth, what is real money, because if you don't have land, you don't have anything. Every, everything is come from out of the, the earth. Everything come from out of the earth, and without the, without the earth, we don't have anything. Without the earth, we don't have. Thank you. Without the earth, we don't have anything, and uh, we somehow decide that uh, material stuff is more important than the human being, and we need to change our thinking. And if we analyze right throughout the uni, right throughout the earth, not the universe, because the universe not doing nothing that can't save consists of how we as human beings alone. Just as the fish in the sea are many different types, 
the, the trees are many different types, the birds are different types, the ants and the animals are different types. So do the human intelligence in the universe are more than one type. So uh, we are so-called, you know, human beings on the earth. Everything here it was given free from the creator of the universe. And someone decided to make us com commodity, to be slaves. You know, and uh, so in terms of the educational system where we get our idea, our second and information, because all our information is second and information. It then came from, you learn it from somebody that you don't, you don't have any facts. It's all information that someone passed down to you. Uh, so we need to understand that we are living into a reality that we do not even, uh, many, you know, say 99% of the people do not understand what is the true reality of this earth. And everything. What's I'm, the true reality of the this true, earth? The true reality that we are spiritual beings mm -hmm. and that we, the system of a religion that and a debt and a God that won't even get, you know, why a God would have created any person or any being to, to, to put them in hell or cast them into a bad place. Mm -hmm. You are God. You know, you, you said you know the very intention before we were even born, you know, before we even conceive in our mother's womb, you are, you know, the stargate, you know about us. Mm -hmm. So there is no reason to create something that you, 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 that you know about that to serve you. So the myth and the lies is of a means of control of man, knowledge to control, control the masses, to have them at their grappling feet, to work and using their own energy that they may benefit because they create a system to use other people to benefit. So, you know, I, I, I am, very tedious about those things that human beings creating a system not only you they're talking about people are violent and criminal oh man if they're talking about really violent and criminalism they are the person that cre creating criminalism they are the person that are really are criminals mm -hmm. you know whether you believe it or not they are criminals because they are the ones that every person born as a free human being on this planet to have an experience, to live free, just like all the birds, the fishes, they do not have to pay to live. So if we are the more intelligent being, why we have to pay to live? Why we have a rent? Why we have a debt? Why we have a, a no? Why we couldn't share the technology and live together? Mm -hmm. Because someone want to control the masses. Yes. You know, someone want to, to use your energy and they live prosperous, you know that you know that, 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 that they, they have a they have a term that they call as cattle sheep. A sheep will another sheep will lead another sheep down to a, in a hole because they follow each other. Mm -hmm. Go right in that hole. They do not pay attention, and that is what we are not paying attention to what is going on. And we want to put our you. We want to put our in. We want to put our humanity into other human human beings and do not look into ourselves as a human being. Not only that we want to blame something or someone for our own fault. Because the concept of a God is to negate responsibility of what you have done. Because you want to say, oh, the devil made me do this. God, go and help me. You have to help yourself. God, in the Bible said, God help those that help themselves. The, 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 Bible, the, the Bible that they write said, no man ever see God at no time. And it's the, even the same Bible go around and say, God is a spirit. And they that worship God, that must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So you, you just imagine the spirit, like the wind blow, you, 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 you can see the tree move, but you can't see the wind. You understand me? So a lot of people are misguided where, where this system is taking us. You know? And it is taking us out of our humanity. And it is taking us in a place to worship uh, technology more than a person is human being that created technology right mm -hmm. so how can the technology be greater than the human being that created technology so it's all a misguided concept and a misguided reality that we treat us as uh, treat each other as human being less than but we are one people you are one people and we are all human being here to have a 
a spiritual experience just as though you may have a different physical character or a physical uh, 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 appearance a different physical appearance but all of us come from one spiritual entity mm -hmm. which we we yet to understand and we cannot understand till we move in the spiritual realm but what we must come and do in this realm is to live together as you as human being not create a material thing over the human over the human being you cannot put material things over humanity humanity must be first uh, so that my piece if you have something else to say my sister you can back me up if you you know i think you said it all i'm mesmerized wow you just <laughs> gave us a, a whole lifetime that was amazing and so factual and so true because it's making you connect with who and what you really are, a spiritual being, and we are all connected in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And once we really get into our spirit, spirituality, we'll continue to grow and make a difference within mm -hmm. ourselves and each other mm -hmm. and keep building connections. Mm -hmm. And then recognize and try to look for the beauty in everything. Mm -hmm. um, you want to pause that video now? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. This was Eve the Jew Hunter, Sanika Arrington, a.k.a. Positivity Queen, giving you Queen of Africa with my one and only good friend, man of many different levels, Mr. Bumani Tahimbe. Take care. Ghana style. Thank you, Mr. Prince. <laughs>